So here are three things everyone needs to know about emergency funds. First of all, having only $1,000 in your savings account is not an emergency fund. Now getting to this amount is a good goal, especially if you're starting from nothing, and it can definitely come in handy for those small or unexpected expenses that pop up. But a true emergency fund should contain enough cash to help you get through significant life events, such as a job loss or illness. So whereas $1,000 is a great rainy day fund, an emergency fund should have about three to six months of living expenses. And for anyone who doesn't know, a rainy day fund and an emergency fund are not the same. Also, a regular savings account is not the best place for your emergency fund, although it is a good place for your rainy day fund. Regular savings accounts have lower rates, meaning that your money is not gonna grow much over time. So the best place for your emergency fund is a high yield savings account. And lastly, emergency funds should only be for true emergencies. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but going on a vacation or buying a new purse, those are not emergencies. Discretionary spending, down payment funds, vacation funds, or any planned non-emergency expense that you have coming up, it's smart to have separate sinking funds accounts for these. 